My calisthenics journey to improve my body weight pull up started in early 2018, and the earliest video of me I have going to failure on pull ups is from December 22nd, 2018, and I'm doing L sit pull ups, and I was able to get 15 reps. I would continue to work on my pull up endurance and high rep sets, as well as my pull up strength with weighted pull ups, and I was eventually able to achieve over twice as many reps as in this first set after five years of training with slow and steady incremental progress. I spent the majority of my training time working on strength as my main goal was to improve one arm pull ups, so there were long periods of time in between body weight rep PR attempts. At first, and actually for a long time, my form and range of motion was quite poor, but eventually my range of motion improved significantly at the end of those five years. Nonetheless, it's important to keep in mind that progress takes a long time. Some people progress fast some people progress slower, but ultimately progression takes time and you should be proud of yourself and cherish the small micro progressions week to week. Maybe you didn't achieve any more reps on a personal record attempt, but maybe your form was more strict than last time. Maybe your range of motion was better. There are many little victories you can have along the way to your goals. So it's important to identify them and celebrate them. Taking videos of your sets will accelerate your progress when you analyze them. You can better reflect on what you did well and what needs work and implement plans to improve your deficiencies. You can easily prop your phone up against something to record yourself or investing in a cheap tripod will make life a lot easier in terms of recording yourself. The three factors that helped me progress were consistency, varying up my rep ranges and intensities between workouts, and my focus on recovery. In regards to consistency, what I mean is writing out a plan and sticking to it. I had to go through a lot of trial and error to figure out what my personal optimal training, volume, and frequency was. When writing out training plans, you're able to look back on them and adjust the plan after you completed it to optimize it better for you. Or during the plan, if you feel it is too light or too heavy, modify it in real time. Even once you're able to put a plan into action that is best for you based on your past experiences, you still need to adjust intensity levels based on how good you are feeling that day on your training day or week based on your recovery outside of training workload. We are not robots. Just because last time a certain training plan worked well does not mean it will work exactly the same again. Ultimately, consistency is the key for developing any skill, whether it's calisthenics, learning a new language, instrument, or studying for school. And what I mean by varying up the rep ranges and intensities is dividing your workouts into an endurance, hypertrophy, or strength, opposed to training each type in every workout. By training each of these different energy systems, you can make gains in each one more efficiently, and each category will help you improve your pull-up. However, if you're focusing more on high rep sets, like I am here when I was training for bodyweight pull-up PRs, then you will want to have more endurance and hypertrophy training sessions opposed to strength. But still including strength is important. When you train endurance, you are training at higher rep sets with rep ranges greater than 20 reps per set, which means you might have to reduce your weight that you are pulling up by using resistance bands. By training hypertrophy or building your pull-up muscles, you are doing rep ranges of about 10 to 20 reps. To train strength, you are training at higher intensities with rep ranges of about 5 or less. By training each category of rep ranges individually for a training session, you will improve your progress. Lastly, recovery. Recovery incorporates a large variety of factors such as your nutrition, like how are you eating to properly fuel your workouts, and then recovery after by eating nutrient-dense foods foods with complex carbohydrates high in protein, or are you eating ultra processed foods and drinking sugary beverages? Recovery also includes sleep. Are you getting enough sleep at night, at least eight to 10 hours, so that your body heals and repairs itself and energizes you so you're better prepared for your next workout? Essentially, recovery includes everything you do when you're not training. In other words, this is your lifestyle. All the decisions you make outside of your training session will either help you progress faster or make no difference on your progress or slow your rate of progression. Therefore, the better your lifestyle, the faster you will achieve your goals. As mentioned, I took long breaks off training pull-up endurance, but I did play around with combos like this one shown here that starts off with a strength move like the one-arm pull-up and eventually transitions into easier moves as I begin to fatigue. For most of 2021 through 2022, I focused on the one-arm pull-up and would eventually achieve a 15-pound weighted one-arm pull-up at the end of 2023. But in early to mid 2023, I would begin training endurance heavily again. Training pull-up endurance is quite painful due to the pump and muscle burn and fatigue you have to endure for extended periods of time to make gains. So it can be naturally deterring to train. But I always feel really healthy when I train pull-up endurance and it helps me lean out my physique more than training pull-up strength, which is by my estimation due to the training burning more calories. It feels like it burns quite a bit more actually. 
One of the many things I enjoy about doing calisthenics is that not only is it incredible exercise, but it's also a hobby. Unlike traditional exercise in a gym, training calisthenics allows you to master body weight movements, which is very stimulating and exciting. It can take years to achieve a single move and the reward you feel from accomplishing something so physically difficult feels amazing. And this kind of accomplishment will improve your confidence and self-esteem, which will translate into other aspects of your life, such as with your job, your relationships with your family, friends, and significant other. But it's not just finally accomplished the goal you set out to achieve, the progress along the way is just as exciting, which helps you keep the passion going for long periods. Here, five years later, on May 27th, 2023, I was able to get 32 pull-ups on both personal record attempts. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below to support the channel.